A man wielding an axe is shot and killed by San Jose police. Tonight, we have the audio of the confusing moments leading up to the shooting. It happened at the Metcalf Energy Center, which is a power plant in South San Jose. Night Beats Betty, you joins us now live. Betty? Veronica, this energy company describes this axe wielding man as an intruder. And right now, there are still several police vehicles here on the scene as investigators try to piece together what led up to the gunfire. In police dispatch, officers talk about an unusual weapon in a vehicle. There is a large sword on the front seat. I can see that. Copy. You might be coming back towards the vehicle. There is a large sword on the front seat inside the vehicle. Minutes later, it appears a suspect does not cooperate with police. There's an axe in his hand. He's refusing to drop it. And then officers move in on the suspect. Shots fired. Call copy. Shots fired. Okay, gunshots to the uh, chest. Copy. We'll be on the southwest side and gunshot to the chest. The shooting happened around 5 p.m. at Metcalf Energy Center on Blanchard Road. It's owned by Calpine and powered by natural gas. Tonight, the company confirmed the event with an intruder and law enforcement. It also said the plant operates around the clock and all of its employees are safe. In April 2013, nearby PG&E's Metcalf substation came under attack. Snipers fired more than 100 rounds into transformers and cut fiber optic AT&T phone lines, shutting off service to neighborhoods. It raised the alarm on the potential for terrorism and prompted tighter security at the plant. PG&E tonight tweeted that it is aware of this situation and is in touch with law enforcement. It did make clear that Metcalf Energy Center is not owned or associated with